Things I wish I knew before I started dating. Always respect yourself enough to be single and at peace rather than settling for an unworthy relationship. Your mum has got a really good judgement of character and you should believe her more. If you feel like you're a burden or you're annoying them, they're not the one. Watch how they speak about those closest to them. If they have nothing positive to say, just know that that's how they'll be talking about you. Stand up for yourself and express what you truly think or feel. Stop, for the love of God, trying to mould yourself into their perfect person. Also on that note, stop oversharing so early on, telling them how poorly your ex is treated you and what you look for in a person. You're literally giving them the blueprint to pretend to be that person to get you. On the first day, ask them to tell you their favourite things things about the person that they're closest to. This is going to tell you the things that they look for and value in a partner. If they tell you you're too good for them, believe them and walk the fuck away. This is an insecure person who still needs to do some self-healing before they can give 100% to a relationship. Another person can never make you feel whole, that's an inside job. If you're confused about where you stand with them, they're not interested. If they were, you wouldn't be having to constantly fight for their time and attention. Never sacrifice your friendships for a relationship. No matter how good you think that relationship is, if you're cutting off your friends, it's toxic as hell. Being in a relationship with them doesn't mean you owe them your body whenever they please. Saying no doesn't make you a bad girlfriend or boyfriend. The signs you ignore in the beginning end up being the reasons you leave later so take notes and take action. You can love somebody and also know that they're not the right person for you. Although it's the hardest thing you'll ever do, be brave enough to walk away. Stop expecting them to handle situations the same way you would. They are not you and you are not them. Be a good communicator but an even better listener. If you're serious about having a future with this person, you need to be having the hard conversations before you drop the album. I'm talking parenting styles, sexual expectations, future plans, religion, politics, childhood traumas, mental health history, etc, etc, because you two need to align on all of those things in order for it to work out long term. And lastly, what's meant for you will not go past you. No relationship is right or wrong, it is simply an experience that you learn and grow from. So stop putting so much pressure on yourself. Who gives a fuck if the relationship failed? You came out of it stronger and wiser. Making your home modern and beautiful is easier than you think with 5050 RGB SMD strip lights. Bright, uniform, ambient lighting for anywhere in your room. Use exactly the length you need thanks to the cuttable design. Waterproof properties and the use of double copper make them durable and long-lasting in all conditions. Change the colors, effects, and brightness of the lights thanks to the wireless remote or the app on your phone. Change the look of your home. Order now. Make These are green flags to look out for in a guy. Number one, when he knows about love languages. If he knows what love languages are, that means that he knows how he wants to be loved which from my experience is very rare in men. And when you tell him yours, that means he's gonna know exactly how to show you love. Number two, if he has a good relationship with his mom and or sisters. Now this isn't gospel, people might have valid reasons to not have a relationship with a mom or sister. But if they are present people in his life and he has a good relationship with them, that tells you he'll be intuitive to your feminine needs and if he was brought up properly, knows how to respect women. Number three, if he continuously hypes you up and acts like your personal cheerleader. Whilst I do believe this is the bare minimum, if you guys have been seeing each other for a while and he does this continuously, he's a good egg. And boys, note to self, if you don't do it, other guys will. Number four, they'll always have your back and support you. But if you do need to be put in your place, they'll call you out on your bullshit and tell it how it is, but in private. And do it in a way that's constructive and not patronizing. And last but not least, number five, if you guys argue and it doesn't feel like you're talking to a brick wall, aka he actually lets you talk and finish your sentence, actively listens to what you've said, and could confidently repeat back to you four of the five things that you've said. That is not a man, that is a husband. These are things girls wish guys knew. To the man that's watching this video, you're gonna wanna click save and listen the fuck up. Number one, size doesn't matter, but girth is great. You've got two hands and a mouth for a reason. Now be resourceful and use the tools God provided you with. Whilst we're on the beautiful topic of pickles, no girl wants to see one unannounced. A simple hi would be nice before that enters our DMs. We look at it for a split second before quickly exiting and just wonder what was going through your head in order to click send. Don't be that guy. Now on to more pressing matters. Number three. 
please tell us what you want from the get-go. Whether it's a threesome, an arranged marriage, friends with benefits, or, God forbid, a relationship, please just make this clear from the beginning rather than leading us on for the next 6 to 12 months. Number 4. Makeup is sometimes a necessary mood enhancer, and wearing it does not mean that we're insecure. Sometimes it's simply to feel good and be creative. And as much as you think you're complimenting a girl by telling her she looks better without makeup, that's like telling Van Gogh his artwork looked better as a blank canvas. If you wanted to compliment her on that, you could just tell her she's naturally pretty. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This is what boys' texts really mean. I'm sorry, okay? It's a burden to keep this and not share it with the girls. Number one, if he messages you the word hey and nothing else. It's very similar to us. He wants to text you but has no idea what to say so wants you to pick it up from here. Number two, we should hang out sometime. No shit Sherlock, he obviously likes you but doesn't want to be forward and come through with a specific date and time. So this softens the potential blow and means minimal commitment. But the effort, it was there and you won't be able to deny that. Number three, if he texts you, oh, don't worry, you must be busy, whilst it comes across as considerate, internally he's screaming, please pay attention to me. The one thing he wants in this moment is for you to say, no, it's fine, and continue to speak to him. Number four, if he texts you, oh, okay, he's either completely uninterested in what's going on and his mind is elsewhere, or he's low-key disappointed. And number five, if he texts you GN instead of goodnight, he's either one, a lazy texter, two, ridiculously tired, or three, you've done something wrong and pissed him off. So have fun overthinking that last one. Or, you know, you could just check the guy's comments for confirmation. This is what girls' texts really mean. Girls confirm or deny in the comments and guys take notes. Number one, if she texts you anything along the lines of so sorry I just saw this, she actually saw it hours ago and got distracted or you just weren't enough of a priority to respond to. But she couldn't possibly ever let you know that so this will suffice instead. Number two, if she ever texts you that's good. It's not actually good, you were probably just talking about yourself too much and didn't ask her a question in response. So as a result she's bored and you're getting a two word response. Number three, if ever a girl texts you um k, okay, she's currently eye rolling herself off of a cliff and knows that you're talking out of your ass. So whatever secrets you're hiding, if she texts you this, she knows. Number four, if she texts you saying I'll let you know, just lower your expectations to the fact that that's never happening. Unless it's followed with something specific that she needs to do or know first, she's just being polite. And lastly, if ever you are blessed with the I miss your face text, just FaceTime her.